The time of the coming of Jesus Christ to earth was exactly predicted as early as 500 BC. From the decree to rebuild Jerusalem all the way to the entry of Jesus Christ into Jerusalem, it took exactly 483 years, or as Daniel the prophet puts it, 69 year weeks. To fill up the 70 year weeks, one week is still missing. But when does this one week start? Namely, the last seven years? The prophets of the Old Testament did not know that there would be a new covenant of 2,000 years. These 2,000 years lie between the 69th and 70th week. Thus, the last year week begins with a peace treaty in the Middle East. Seven years later, mark the beginning of Christ's millennial kingdom of peace on this earth. Today, the all-decisive peace treaty is within reach. But why now? Haven't there been peace efforts and treaties in the Middle East before? Yes. In 1993, President Clinton tried. In 2003, President Bush. And in 2014, President Obama. All these peace efforts and agreements had one thing in common. The U.S. always mediated directly between Israel and the Palestinians. Why did this not work? Let us read what Daniel the prophet says about the peace treaty of the end times. And with strength he shall make a covenant with many for one week. Daniel said already more than 2,500 years ago that the peace covenant of the end times must be a covenant with many nations, not only between Israel and the Palestinians. So what is different about President Trump's peace plan? His advisors say Trump is taking an unconventional approach to peace. What kind of approach is this? The newspaper Israel Today writes, Rather than labor for a final and comprehensive agreement between Israel and the Palestinians in one fell swoop, U.S. President Donald Trump and Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu decided to try a different tactic. The goal now appears to be getting as many Arab and Muslim states to normalize relations with Israel before the U.S. presidential election in November. This means that President Trump does not mediate directly between Israel and Palestinians. He makes a covenant with many nations. After Egypt and Jordan had already had agreements with Israel, the Emirates and Bahrain were added under Trump in one fell swoop. Today, Saudi Arabia, Oman, Sudan, Kuwait, Lebanon and Syria are already in direct talks with Israel. A real snowball effect. A covenant with many nations, just as Daniel the prophet had foretold. And what is the name of this covenant? It is called the Abraham Accords. Why is it called the Abraham Accords? Because Abraham is the father of the Jews and the Arabs. Moreover, for the Christians, he is the father of faith. God spoke to Abraham then, Your name shall be Abraham. For I have made you a father of many nations. The Abram of courts of Trump is precisely a covenant with many nations. On the basis of this covenant, the three Abrahamic religions are to live and worship together in peace. So if on the basis of this covenant the Temple Mount is normalized and the Jews worship God with sacrifices and offerings, then the last seven years will begin. Today we stand at a decisive turning point in history. The last seven years could already begin in the next few weeks. The last seven years are divided into three and a half and three and a half years. The second three and a half years will bring the wrath of God and his judgment upon the whole earth. For the people of God, the return of Jesus Christ and the coming of the millennial kingdom of peace is an event of great joy because full redemption has come. Nevertheless, a healthy fear of God is also required. Why? Because not all Christians will be raptured to the throne of God, but only a remnant. Yes, there will be a rapture. 
but it is not at the beginning of the seven years as many think. Rather, the Bible shows us that the rapture will be shortly before the beginning of God's wrath. But in this rapture, only the first fruits are taken to God's throne, not all Christians together. The majority of Christians will have to go through the greatest tribulation of all time. They will only be raptured towards the end of the seven years, but not to the throne of God, but into the air, to the judgment seat of Christ. We Christians must prepare ourselves consciously and reach spiritual maturity. We are not automatically raptured just because we are Christians. Let us redeem the remaining short time to prepare ourselves for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ.